hi guys you are watching goit center and in this video we are going to tell you that how we can install the windows 11 latest windows 11 25h2 through the easiest way forward onto the unsupported hardware or any old pc so let's start first of all you have to go on to the chrome browser then you have to type windows 11 then you will have a first link download windows 11 then you have to just click on that and once you click on that then you have to scroll down it scroll down it scroll down it now you have to select the iso once you select the iso then you have to confirm it and then it will ask you regarding the language so you have to select your desired language but first of all before selecting the language you have to confirm you have to make sure that your which type of language you are using on your system so in order to do so you have to just open the cmd and uh, this is very important step keep remember and you have to type dism slash online slash get dash intl and you will sorry have you have to start this command line run as administrator otherwise you will get the same error so cmd then right click on that run as administrator and then type the same command dism slash online slash get dash intl so you will see you will get your system language and it is english united states so that's it now you have to select your respective language and then you have to confirm it and once you confirm it then it will give you a link of download so you can see that downloading has been started i have already already downloaded the iso in order to save the time and uh, this is the most easiest way of windows 11 installation and it will bypass your all the hardware requirements so once it is done then you have then you have to uh, let me show you the iso which i have already downloaded it and after that you have to go on to the google chrome and then you have to type uh, fly ob one application which is a very good application it will bypass all the hardware requirements so fly ob and once you type the fly ob then you will have a first link on github then you have to click on that and then you will have another page of github then you you have to click on to the latest version download and then you have another page and uh, you have to scroll down it and you have to download a latest release which is uh, this so click download it will be downloaded instantly and it is very light software and most reliable software so, and uh, just cut it let me copy and paste over the desktop to ease out the process paste it extract here run as administrator now you have to select your ISO so the so Windows protecting uh, your PC so no need to worry about it just click on to the more information and run anyway and uh, then you have to click on to the get Windows 11 run and then you have to drag and drop the iso or you can simply browse the iso so let's go on to the download and select the iso latest iso and you can see that my uh, cpu requirement is bypassed mounting the iso all is going very well and uh, you will have a setup of windows 11 shot so okay and uh, setup will be appear in front of you you can see that so it is being loaded so all the hardware requirements in each and everything has been bypassed and your windows 11 successfully will be uh, upgraded onto the windows 11 by keeping all the data we will keep all data you can see that all data is here and uh, now we have the option we can update it for windows 11 while the installation means uh, before the installation it will download the update so both options you have you can uh, not right now 
and uh, we can click on to the downloads update so i'm going to download update so that we can get uh, up to the up to mark windows means updated windows so i request you it is recommended option so keep windows updated in order to make yourself secure so j just click next and it is checking for the update it would take around uh, 8 to 10 minutes so i'm going to stop this video and uh, once we have the second page i will resume it so i got all the updates and uh, i accept the license and uh, once you have the accept license page and then you will have option of all keep all the files and data you have to select that and finally you will have this page so it is pretty much simple you can see that install windows 11 enterprise and keep files and settings and apps as it is because we are just going to upgrade windows 10 to windows 11 and uh, by keeping all the data same so no data loss and error free installation will be done in front of you and no need to worry about your license windows 10 license will automatically shift it into the windows 11 so you will get windows 11 activated that's it once you have this page then you have to click on to the install and the installation will start instantly it would take around uh, uh, 45 minutes to one hour uh, so i'm going to stop this video once done i will be back so windows has been installed successfully and uh, you can see that so wait for a while windows 10 has been successfully upgraded to windows 11 and uh, wait for a second so you can see that successfully upgraded windows 10 to windows 11 all the data all the apps and all the folders are as it is and you can see that it is absolutely working fine so let me show you the license and it is working absolutely fine and uh, there is no lacking at all so you can see that uh, activation state is active let me show you the license license is activated so no need to worry about the license and it is the absolutely genuine and official window and working absolutely fine in front of you you will get all the updates each and everything you will get perfectly so thank you so much for watching this video like subscribe hit the bell icon forward to your family and friends and stay safe bye bye